Hello everyone, Will again here. So today on the farm we are dagging some of the lambs. So if some of you watched a few videos ago, we wormed some lambs because they had mucky bums, but the problem is they now have mucky bums. So what we're gonna do is dag them today, basically clip around their backsides to make sure they're clean. I've got Ellie helping me today. She's just over there moving a fence, but it is going to be a good one. So if you do enjoy it today, guys, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. And don't forget to leave a comment. Cheers, guys. See you in a little bit. So while Ellie has sorted that fence, I've just been setting the clippers up. So basically the setup I have today, I have a Laser 2 Lister handpiece. So basically it's an electric one, you hook it up to the car battery. It's fairly simple, nothing posh. It's nothing that the shearers would have, but it'll do the job for dagging. So I don't shear the sheep myself, but I dag them all because it's a job I can do. And I have the setup that's good enough, but nothing too extravagant. So basically, it's hooked up to there, we tie a piece of string on there so that wire's out of the way and then we're good to go. So we're going to get the sheep in now, Ellie set that up and yeah, that is the plan. Right Elle, that all okay and set up? Yeah, we're good. Cool, so basically just down here we have a little fence we put across because it saves us having an extra person. It's something that the previous farmer did but it's really good so I use that. Plan is now we just got to get those tuck plums in that have a few have mucky bums and then we'll get them dagged. So, Ellie is my chief holder for today. I'm no expert in dagging, so any extra help is well needed. And you are representing the Kaiwaka overall today, aren't you, Al? So if you haven't already, check out Kaiwaka, really good stuff. Rocks and tags, Kiwi kit, all that stuff, really good. Ellie, you find them pretty good, don't you? Definitely, they're better than my old ones. Yeah, Don't we used like. to use the old like plasticky ones, they make you sweat loads. But now we are on this Kaiwaka stuff and honestly, not bias at all, really good stuff. <laughs> Go on, come on mate, off there. Go on. Okay, punch it. Come on boys. Go on, hop, hop, hop. Yet again, we are on a sour note because a dog has been in with the lambs again. And the reason I know this is because this lamp here has got puncture wounds on its back end. And so there you can see she has been bitten. Sorry, he has been bitten, which yet again is so frustrating. Thankfully, there's no bad damage. It's just got a few puncture in its back end. But still, this isn't the point. We just wish people would come up to us if it does happen. It's an accident. But people just don't come up to us and yes that's like the fourth time this year which I can't believe it to be fair not good but we'll crack on thankfully no bad damage that lamb's all right we've had a look at it so just yeah not again all good yeah. if you send them down then I'll tie this up and then we're ready to go cool That is us about halfway through now guys. Right guys, so I've just stopped the video here because I wanted to explain exactly what dagging or crutching is are the same thing because some people might not know. So basically, as you can see on the screen now, there is a picture of a lamb with a mucky bum and this isn't a very good thing. So basically, 
If they have a mucky bum, they have a risk of getting fly strikes, so this is where flies lay eggs in the fleece. They like mucky bits especially, so this is why we're getting rid of this. And then these hatch out as maggots and they basically eat the lamb. So by doing this, it is a preventative. And then I'm gonna show on screen now what they look like after they've been dagged. So as you can see, its bum is now bare and it's basically safe. It's also nice for the sheep. They don't want a mucky bum and loads of stuff dangling off the bum. So it's really good for them. And especially over the winter months where grass it tends to be wetter and they can get a bit of a squittier diet and their poo can be a bit softer. It tends to stick to the wool more, especially as it gets longer. It's just nicer for the sheep and it's um, good for welfare. So that is basically why we dug the lambs on the farm. Flying through, as you can see, all these have now got bareback ends, which is really good. They're not a masterpiece, but I'm no professional at shearing. So the main thing is that it's all clipped off and they're looking well. So that is it. Um, yeah, we'll keep going. Ellie's just gonna leave me now and I'm gonna try and find another helper. So we'll see you in a minute. So I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place, but they're looking really well. well as good as I can do and to say nothing smart but like I said before nice and practical we've got about what would say 25 left so all these are the ones that have left to do the ones with pink spots on the ones that we're keeping for breeding anything else is a fat lamb literally all these there and there they've all been done so really happy and it's going quite well and I'm getting them done in a good time I reckon about a minute and a half each so this might be that might be slow for someone like Cammy from the shoot game but for me that is hellishly quick compared to when I started and it took me like five ten minutes each but it is what it is we'll carry on We are on the home stretch now. There's only about a dozen left. I think I've done about 50 of so they're just up there. I thought I'd just quickly show you guys exactly how the shears work. Um, hand piece, whatever you call it. I'm not professional. So basically, on here, if I put it on the car, apologies, the car's running else I'd run out of battery. But there's a cutter to this piece here in a comb. If I get two from out here. So, uh, hey. This is the cutter and the comb here. So basically, this is the sharp bit and that runs across the comb, if I could grab it. So that bit and those two rubbing against each other is what cuts the wool. Um, I'm sure there's some shearing people that are a lot more professional at this and can tell you a lot more. Basically then, if you look at this now, that's it. And if I turn it on, and that's from the other side, it needs a bit of a clean. That is how it works. I just need to get it clean, give it a bit of an oil. So you have to oil it to make sure that it slides across each other and don't get too hot. And you have to change these every so often. And people told me you change the comb, sorry, you change the cutter twice for every cone, but I have no idea how many you should really get out of them. I can usually go until it gets a bit tough clipping them, but for anyone out there that does share and does know, let me know how much you should really get out of a comb and a cutter. It would be interesting to know. But for now, we'll finish these off and then we are done for the day. Oh my days, my back is sore, but we are done. And I can just about hear, whoa man, I don't know how the shearers do it. I'm going deaf after doing that. But they are all done. Now we're gonna take them back to the field where they belong. Come on boys, back you go. Come on 
boys. Come on. Why do they always go in the wrong direction? Gateway's there, uh, half of them on in. But some of them just decided to go for an extra wonder past the gateway. That is your sheet for you. Come on guys. See you next time.